Hi, um, my name is Lexi Blake. The video you're about to watch is um, a little sampling of some of the places I've written about in my um, my fictional world. It uh, includes a couple of series, uh, mostly Masters and Mercenaries and Thieves. These are scenes that are specifically in um, the eight, Dallas, HEB, and Fort Worth area. HEB is a little, it's kind of a little community in between um, where I grew up. So a lot of these places are, are um, places I've known most of my life. Um, I talk about them a little bit and I hope you enjoy. Like I am coming at you today from Dallas, Texas. I'm at Clyde Warren Park. Um, I was going to, since we're out and about, I was going to show you a couple of places that are featured in the Masters of Mercenary series. If you have read Submission is Not Enough, the big action in that book happens right here in this park. This is where Theo um, and Robert come for lunch. As you can see, there are food trucks all down the line. Uh, this is kind of in the heart of Dallas. Uh, they come for lunch and end up meeting up with their old compadres who we later on find out are Tucker and Jax and are almost taken back so I'm going to do a little bit and take you through a couple of places if you can see here we would ha be having lunch we're also the, um, McKay Tiger is somewhere around here within walking distance um, he goes to the uh, lovely probably not the food fruit bowl because let's face facts Theo is a carnivore so he would go to one of the meteor places he ends up getting um, accosted by his former compatriots who are under the control of Dr. Hope McDonald and the chase begins oh, sorry. sorry scooter the chase begins right down here as you can see there's a, um, a nice path we've got a whole bunch of tables which Theo tries to use to kick people out uh, to as obstacles and we're gonna go down and I'm gonna show you where they finally catch him our hero and his friend have gotten caught in food trucks um, they actually would get caught a little bit down here they take off they run we end up getting caught right here at this little fountain it's Theo's last stand he knows he's going down He's taken two tranquilizer darts. Robert's already down, and he ends up right here. Sorry, it's a really busy day. He ends up right here, and this is where Ian um, and Aaron also catch him, and where the Dallas cops come into play. So that is pretty much part two. And now we're gonna go down and show you where um, the actual scene ends. All right, so we end up at the end of our chase. It's not really the very end um, because obviously Theo and Robert get caught back here. But when they realize that they are about to get trapped because Aaron and Ian catch up to them, our um, never named sort of bad guys, not really bad guys, but uh, the people who are chasing the two of them actually take off. They run down the trail, they run here and throw themselves off this bridge onto uh, Woodall Rogers Freeway. And as you can tell, it does not go well for them from there. So our tour of Dallas continues. We are standing outside of Neiman Marcus, and this is the spot where in um, Master No, Faith ends up kind of, uh, she has a little bit of time, so she goes into the Neiman Marcus beauty counter, and that is where Again, Hope McDonald's bad guys catch her. Now, I'm mean, gonna be honest, there's no like alleyway where 10 could kill someone. That was made up, but this is the actual store. And so this is the street where we would be fairly close to uh, top. We're gonna go a little bit down here and talk about uh, Jesse um, and Phoebe's book. Okay, here we are. We're a little bit down from Neiman Marcus. We're still, are we on Main? No, Main's that way. Anyway, this is the giant eyeball that sits in the middle of downtown Dallas. Um, right across the street, do you wanna switch and show them where that is? That's the Jewel Hotel. And that, of course, is where um, a whole bunch of the action happens in You Only Love Twice. 
So that is where um, Phoebe gets the call, the kill call to kill Jesse. And we're about to show you the street, but it would be one of these rooms. Now, how have I changed things up a little bit? We're on the, um, if you look, uh, I'm trying to figure out, I think it's the other side that has the balconies. Oh no, the balconies are right here. They don't actually, I'm sorry, the balconies are right over here. They don't actually jut out. So Phoebe really probably couldn't have done her great high wire act, but it's fiction, so we work with what we've got. But she would literally have been in one of these rooms right over here to take her shot at Jesse. So we're gonna go over there now. All right, so we've moved on from the eyeball. This part of Dallas takes, has a lot to do with several of the books, but specifically with Jesse and Phoebe's book. So Main Street is right back here. That's where Simon would have parked. Jesse's coming down this little pathway, this alleyway. This is a Mexican restaurant where um, Phoebe and Jesse had one of their first dates. He talks about having eaten there. And then here's the jewel. One of these uh, places would be where she is going to shoot him from. He stops right about halfway down here and says, take me out. And like I said, we're right in the middle of downtown Dallas. Thanksgiving plazas. Like, is it that way? I think it's that way. Is it that way? I don't think it's that way. You turned around like three times. Yeah, it's hard to find a place to park. <laughs> Chloe Vale is obviously holding the... I am. Um, yeah. We're right next to... find a place to park. <laughs> we're right next to the eyeball. Um, but this would also be where um, they would... Where they stop to fold Phoebe up into the van and take her back to McKay Taggart. So this would be um, the street where they did all that fun stuff and in the thieves world this was where <laughs> oh yeah and the, oh this is also where um theo and aaron stayed and stayed the same night that in thieves world gray kelsey and sloan made their baby yes. so we are also not far from um ether because they should have been able to walk really probably because oh, is it west end you think they could walk to the west end from here it's a, hike, yeah, it's a hike, but Dab's got really long legs. That's right. <laughs> so there we go. Okay, so this is a thieves location. Uh, this restaurant is called Campisis. It's called the Egyptian restaurant. It is really Italian food. If you will note, you can't see inside. Now in the thieves books, it was called Canales, but this is where the opening of Steal the Light takes place, where um, Daniel and Zoe first meet Lucas Halper. So we're going to go inside and have a drink. Hi. So we're at the inside of Camp Easy's now. And like I said before, this is where the um, fateful meeting between Daniel, Zoe, and one Lucas Hoffer takes place that does in uh, motion all of the lovely events of peace. Uh, as you can see, it is very 1950s. We've got the red boots. Um, it's a really ridiculously famous place in Dallas. Um, that supposedly is run by the mix. That's always been the, the rumor. Yes. Um, but we wanted to kind of uh, show you what it's like. I have got Zoe's favorite drink. We, and you've got Daniel's. Except it's not really good. Yes, it is. <laughs> yes, it is. So here we are. Yes, cheers. Sante. Sante, that's right. Sante. <laughs> Hello, here we are again. We are still in Dallas, still doing our little tour. So this is a, um, kind of a very important place for Honor Master Secret Service. This is where Kristen, AKA Charlotte, sorry, spoiler alert, um, ends up meeting Alex for the first time right here on this lovely bench. If you will look over here, there is a little candy store. It used to be a cake pop store and that is where Charlotte got her cake pop. So, if you want to take a little, we're at North Park Ball. There's a Tiffany behind us. And we've got ducks and turtles. And this is where it happens. This is also the mall where um, Alex goes to what's Kona Grill and has his sushi with. Simon. I remember that. All right, we'll see you next time. Fort Worth 
portion of the tour. If y'all remember from Men with the Golden Cups, Serena signed at a toy store called the Velvet Box. And here we are. So um, yeah, we're like uh, in what West Sub, the West Seventh part of Fort Worth. Um, it's a really kind of trendy, cool place, but th this would be where um, that happened. I think I actually said it in Dallas. I can't remember, but um, this is the store that inspired where Serena got to sign her books. Okay, our second stop in our Fort Worth tour is the Kimball Art Museum, which is kind of all around us. This is a middle park where it's kind of, it is not very sunny today. Looks like it's gonna rain a little, but when it's nice and warm, you'll see people out here picnicking and, and sitting around. So this is where Lee and Zoe and Marcus had their long discussion and we learned a little bit more about Lee and how he is a lone wolf. There is a hamburger store, hamburger restaurant somewhere over here and that is where Lee went and got like 10 hot, 10 hamburgers, all of which he ate for himself. I think he gave Zoe one, but this is the Kimball Art Museum and this is um, a lovely museum if you're ever in Fort Worth. Also, this is, uh, it's got great security and that's why Zoe decided to steal from the truck and not the museum. And Corey has decided to go in and ask where the Paw of Remus is. <laughs> so we're gonna get some weird looks. That's the Kimball. So this is another thieves location. This is the Rural Bottom Pub. This is where Kelsey came to get her tequila on that night. Um, and this is the very place where she met Daniel, who she called Dave, because she was a little tipsy. Um, this is in Fort Worth, but really almost, almost to hers, which is right down that way, which is where I grew up. So this is where, um, it, it's kind of an urban area, but with a lot of rural stuff in it. And that's kind of where that feel that Kelsey has when she's out here. So, there's quick there's around it. The cows across the street. That's right. Daniel in and where summer is born, conceived, conceived transferred, comes into this world. So that, this is, this is actually the back part of it. Um, you can't really see it from the front, which was what made Zoe want to come here. But these are, are only, you can only see them from, from like right here. Nice for Zoe to be able to carry him in because he was he did not look good. Okay. This, oh, our Fort Worth tour continues. This is um, um, a site from the Dog Who Loved Me. In the Dog Who Loved Me, very beginning of the book, um, Sean has just met Grace and he goes out to meet Jake and Adam at a dive bar called Brewski's. This is the bar. It is actually not as divey as it used to be. It's a lot nicer, but so this is uh, kind of the very beginning where Sean and Grace, well, where Sean first started talking about Grace and telling Jake and Adam, no, no, no. Thank you so much for joining me on our little, um, we took a little weekend with some friends, Chloe Vale, um, my assistant who most you know, and um, we took some friends of ours who I've written about, Corey and Sarah, and took them on this um, this literary adventure. Uh, I am very grateful for reading, for you reading, and I hope um, you enjoyed the video. Bye.